It's a common tactic among the conservative religious right to misrepresent opposition arguments in order to have a straw man to tear down. In discussions of evolution, detractors often label the science as Darwinism rather than just calling it evolution. Presumably, this is because the term Darwinism has pejorative connotations. Naming the scientific theory after the man serves to elevate Darwin such that he can be portrayed as some prophet or messiah, and thus anyone who believes in evolution must, by extension, be a follower of Darwin. In this way, by attacking the fallible man, they can appear to discredit his theory, at least in the court of public opinion. Additionally, by pinning evolution firmly to Darwin, creationists and their supporters can conveniently disregard the vast number of advancements made to the theory by Mendel, Watson, and Crick, and countless other scientists in the 150 years since Darwin wrote on the origin of species. Once they have stacked the deck in this manner, they'll point to any errors or deficiencies in Darwin's writing, usually by selective quote mining, or use more recent scientific findings as proof against evolution. Attaching the suffix ism to a word makes it sound like an ideology, such as Marxism or communism. So the use of the term Darwinism is then employed by evolution deniers as a means to redefine the science of evolution as just another godless ideology. In Britain, the term Darwinism doesn't have the same negative inference it does in the United States, so scientists such as Richard Dawkins are comfortable using it interchangeably with the term evolution. This is unfortunate for the scientific community at large, because Dawkins is unwittingly providing fodder for the creationist smear machine. Evolution is not an ideology. It's a scientific model which provides tremendous predictive capability and is so powerful that it's used in a multitude of disciplines including archaeology, biology, cosmology, embryology, sociology, genetics, paleontology, homology, and even computer science and other seemingly unrelated fields. Scientists use the predictive framework of evolution through natural selection because it works. Not because of reverence for the man who discovered the principle. Scientists are no more Darwinists than they are Newtonists or Einsteinists. On the origin of species is not some divinely inspired holy book, and it's not considered infallible. Scientists have no sacred writings and are never hesitant to discard a theory when a better one is presented. One of the beautiful aspects of scientific understanding is that it is not based on dogma, it's based on evidence. And if evidence does not fit an accepted theory, the theory will be revised or replaced. Creationists threatened by the science that disproves biblical creation, resort to propaganda to convince the public that evolution is an ideology, while using taxpayer money to build a religious theme park designed to convince them the Flintstones is a documentary. The effort of creationists to paint evolution as an ideology or religion is just one of the many deceitful tactics they use in an attempt to discredit any scientific theory which they consider a threat to their own ideology or religion. Since they have no evidence to back up their assertions, their primary weapons are to confuse the argument, misrepresent the theory, or try to poke holes in it, usually with falsified data or phony evidence. The use of the term Darwinism is just one of the many tricks they employ. But in the end, that's all they have. Tricks. Evolution happens. 
But if your religious beliefs prevent you from accepting that fact, and require you to lie to defend them. Error, 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 error.